Hello, Frisco. Howdy. Sure had a lucky break. Where's the one? Be right back. Hey. What are you gonna do now? Be a preacher or something? I'm picking up right where I left off. Only this thing, I'm going to be too smart for the cops. Yeah. Well, listen. I get out in about two months. Maybe you and I could uh, team up. Not me. Tip on an easy haul, a cinch, small town bank. Let me see it. Not now. Maybe if you change your mind after I get out. What? you understand what a parole means? Yes, sir. I think I do. And a parole board assumes that you intend to obey the law. Yes, sir. I understand. And if you don't, that you'll have to serve your remaining 20-year sentence. Yes, sir. And the next time, the question of your guilt will be entirely up to the board. Yes, sir. Stop that. That'll be all. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Hello, Frisco. Hello, O'Hara. Kind of off your beat, aren't you? Well, I've been doing a little work for the parole board. And I've been in a spot to put in a plug for you. Yeah. You cops are a kind-hearted bunch. Makes me want to throw my arms around your neck and kiss you. Well, when I find a guy trying to go straight, I like to lend him my moral support. I don't need any from you. Have a jelly bean? No, thanks. I'll be seeing you, Frisco. Oh. Is there a night train out of here? Yes, there is. I don't know about it. Pretty tough guy, huh? A guy got to be tough to get by up here. You seem to be a regular guy. When I get my pay at the mill, I'll buy you an ice cream soda. Yeah, I'll be waiting around here until Thursday. Thursday? 
That when they pay at the mill? Yeah. They pay in cash or in checks. I don't know about that. Say, what's your rap? What? I'm an undercover man in a flank of taxi. <laughs> hey there, you fellas. Young fella, buying a horse without the owner's consent is stealing. Again, the law, and you come along with Wait me. Wait a minute. How much is he worth? None of your business. Stealing is stealing. But I need a horse. Maybe I'll buy him. What do you want for him? Well, $25. He ain't worth it, mister. All right. Let's make it 30 and throw in the saddle. By turning the kid loose, it's part of the bargain. Oh, no. Pay the penalty. Call him my kid. That's perfect legal. I'm ending about legal business. Besides, you're a total stranger. You want any references? Why? Do you happen to know anyone in Frisco? Well, I correspond with the chief of police. That's fine. I know him well. In fact, I've visited him a long time. You did? Yes. Hey, he spoke of you not the time. What you do? Well, you see, uh, me and the chief correspond a lot. Oh, he sends me lots of circulars and pictures. Oh, did he send you any lately? No, not so much. Hey, what about the horse? I want my money. Oh, mm -hmm. my friend will take care of that. Thirty dollars, honey. Yeah, boy. I'll see you the kitchen home. All right, do that. Get them. Spike them at the hardware store. You're taking them right back. Don't you know it's wrong to steal? Oh, wait a minute. Come on. Wait, let's get the horse. worrying about the five bucks. I don't want to put man away. Come on. <laughs> How do you do? I came up with Buddy. Yes? He told me about the Gasper. Yes? I believe you have some right to... to We've had enough advice from strangers. Thank you.
what you're doing under the bed, huh? What, what are I doing? Yeah. What, what are I doing? I don't know. Tell me. Oh, you wouldn't want to do that, would you? Oh, yeah, Why? If I can, just get this old tire off. Would you like that tire? No. Get the little more like this. Well, that's good enough. I like it. Yeah, that's fine, see? Right. I like it. Yeah. Now look, that way up there? Mm-hmm. Right. It ain't much, mister, but make yourself at home. That's Sissy, and that's Queenie. They're my sisters. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Keep our old man eager horse for me. I gotta have a blanket for him. Just sit down, mister. If it's too dirty to suit you here, you can find a trail outside where you left it. I'm sorry. My queenie, but your face is all black. Well, why don't you carry it back? I can do that. Yes, you can. No, I can. Yes, you can. No, I can. Yes, you can. Here we are. Some more water. I have to get undressed. Okay. At least till I take off my shoes and buttons. Want me to help you? No. Give me the shoes. That was a hard pull. Yes. Yeah. 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 Stand up there. You like to take a bath? Yes. Yeah. You do, huh? I'm taking all my balance back. Well, wait a minute. How do you get out of that? Mm. Oh, here's a button. I forgot mm. that. Like that to take it off. Mm -hmm. Put it off like that. No, I don't. I put a pencil. You do? Yes. Take my pants, sir. Take my pants, sir. Now, come here. My eyes are like you. Huh? My eyes. Your eyes, too? Uh-huh. Are you washing my eyes? Sure, I'm washing your eyes. That was dope. No. But I know you don't like... What's matter with your back? I need that plastic in your cup. You're, you're mighty dirty, you know that, aren't you? Yeah. Now, what are you doing? Good job. Maybe the kid told him we're going to take that timber. He must have had some reason for coming up here. Say, he's going to be in our way. There, put this stuff away. I'll go up to Shannon Shack and see what I can find out. All right. I'll meet you up on the hill. Don't forget to bring the rifle. Thank you, I'll watch you now. Now let him... Now let him have that white foot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me have the right foot. That's right. Put on your dress, huh? Yes. Yeah. Where's your clean dress? I don't have no clean dress. You haven't got a clean dress? No.
Yeah, we'll it take goes this way. No, doesn't it go down? No, it goes out. Well, look, that's all wrong, isn't it? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all wrong, huh? Yeah. I'll put your, the lamp through there. You go, you put it wrong side up. <laughs> I'm going away with this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll take these off, too, huh? You don't take all my cats off. <laughs> But I have to. They're so dirty, see. We'll get some clean ones. Mm. Now, don't you feel better? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Don't you speak to me after what you've done to my father. Oh, you mustn't talk like that, Sissy. It's true. You knew more than you were willing to tell. How do you get such notions? Well, don't you worry, none, girl. Any time you want, you can come out of my place and stay. Howdy, Major. Yes, is my name. Glad to meet you. I heard about you. Is it all right to discuss our business in front of the stranger? We've got no business to discuss. And the sooner you get off this place, the better our life. Her old man owed me 200 bucks. That's a lie. You haven't got anything on paper. I can prove that when the time comes. In the meantime, we're going to start cutting logs. If you touch a single tree on this place, I'll... You'll tend to your own business. Oh, what the hell? We've waited long enough. We're going to start cutting. Hey, what is it all about? Dad was afraid when the lumber company put that steam up to I'm going to town to get the money. Has anyone in that town got $200? They have in the bank, I guess. I'll take a look into it. Oh, I won't do any good. Old man person takes good work and I'm going to try. Running on the street. On the front street? Yeah. What's the matter, afraid of fires? No, I'm crazy about parades. I love them. Parades? Yeah. Fellas have to stop right now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Cutting 
Next time I see you, I'll give you a little more of the same medicine. You were game, mister, but he was too much for you. I'll be right, all right now. You can lean on my shoulder. I'll be back because I see my banker. Can 
I go along still? No, not this trip. It'll be late when I come back. I'll leave a light in the shed for you. Your bunk is all ready. Isn't it, Seth? Good night. Good night. Good night. Can't figure it out. He says he wants to see parade. Now, you know, Jed, we've never had a parade here. Nope. Something mighty strange is going on around here. But I'm right on the job. Let's see that signature again. Get down to business. It won't do my reputation any good to be seen in this kind of a place. Ah, uh, there's a fitting place to do our kind of business, Mr. Perkins. Besides, we all know you're collecting a rent here. Just forget about that. Frisco. Hello, O'Hara. How'd you get way up here? I just followed my nose. Have a jelly bean? Frisco, you know, I think I can find you in the dark. You're a pretty clever fella. This time, you're a big chump. How do you make that out? That tin can in the bank across the street will pay you for your time. Figuring it'll take you winters. Well, if you want those logs out in a hurry, I've got to have choppers. And in order to get choppers, I need some dough. How much do you... Uh, $200 will take care of that thing right now. Have a little drink? A little drink? Oh, no. Thanks. Yeah, there's 200. That'll hold you for a while. Now get your men rounded up and begin cutting. Just leave that to me. I'll take care of that. All right. Bye. So long. Where are you going? Oh, I feel a little grimy. Think I'll wash up. 
think you'll find me. Well, oh, but it's upstairs. before I could see who it was. Four fifty dollar bill. What? Yes, I got robbed. What'd you do about it? What could I do? I didn't even have time to think. Well, tell me just what happened. Well, I was paid off over here. Yeah? And I went down the road, you know where the big trees are? Yeah. Well, something jumped down my horse and drove me right off. To see who it was? No, I'm telling you, it was dark. I couldn't see who it was. You know how I was dressed? How could I see how he was dressed? It was dark, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, let's go on. Oh. Trying to figure out how to get away? Now, I've been shadowing you ever since you hit town. Say, I've been doing some work for the state. I was just wondering if anybody could get out that window, pull this job and get back again in five minutes. No, not unless he growed wings. Chuck, take your gang and start trimming. Come on. Get going, boys. You're not going to do any more cutting? No. No. Say, hey, listen, after that little dose of medicine you took yesterday, I wouldn't do so much talking. I'll see to it that you don't go ahead. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to pay you all. One, two, three, four fifty dollar bills. Come on, gang. It's all off. Hello, Frisco. Hello, Harold. Wouldn't mind being frisk, would you? Certainly not. Say, listen, mister, if you're trying to say Sip stole something, you've got to lick me. <laughs> Don't let him bluff you, Harold. Well, I'm going to take a look around town. I'm going to check up. Then maybe you'll laugh on the other side of your face. Well, I'll be seeing you. Not if I see you first. Hey. Where'd you get the dough? He paid me off. You 
instead of Spalding. Here's yours. This hundred is ours, as we agree to the deal called Bill. Let me see those. Why, you rotten crook. Those are the same bills I gave you last night. I see through it now. You framed with Chuck to rob you and then sold me out for what you could get. Well, there's 100 you won't get. I'm through with you now. Get out. Not yet. When you're through with me, you're through for good. Go on, get out and stay out. No, not that way, this way. Fifty, Sammy. Just not saying. Said you framed on him. It was you that held me up. Oh, he did, eh? Yeah. Said he's gonna put you over the road for this. Oh yeah. Don't let him get away with it. But if you do, what'll he do next? Leave it to me, Sammy. He ain't gonna get away with this. Up around the Come on, Bobby. Oh boy, oh boy. You sure got even with him that time. Still hurt? A little bit. But I can take it. You certainly did take it. A lot of boys would have fallen. I ran faster tonight than I ever thought I could. The way you showed me. <laughs> Questions come through? Yeah, finally. But I had to coax him a little. Guess I was pretty rough with him. What have you been up to? Uh, I had to clean up on that mug up in Shannon's shack again. Say, hey, we've got to take care of him tonight. What are you going to do? You and me are going up and cut the plume loose over there, shack. And now we're going to feed it. Come on, we got to work fast.
Lizzie! Quinny! Quinny! Fizz! Stay away, Sissy! She got off, but Quinny's still in here! Go and get some help and cut off the flume! The Gaspery done it, I saw him! Oh, never mind that now! Quinny! Quinny! Where's the hospital? Down the camp. be coming back any, anymore. Police at San Francisco. Man you described, probably Frisco Kid, convicted of bank robbery and parole. Get fingerprints. That guy that went up to the Shannon place is our man. Do you think so? There's no doubt about it. Then I must get these fingerprints. You won't need them. We can take care of this ourselves. Can't we, boys? All right, then. Let's come on. Now, Jim, wait. As an officer of the law, you I... keep out of it. The less you know about it, the better. Come on, Lord. Francisco Detective Bureau. Identification file. Yeah. Where's Bill? Why? He's downtown. Well, that's too bad. No one wanted to see a Lincoln. Now he can.
Lizzie, I'll go and get some water. Hello. Identification file. Hello. There he is. Come on, get him. Come on, come on. I reckon. Me? What for? You ought to know after what happened to old man Perkins in town last night. Perkins? I don't know the man. Well, I reckon we'll have to learn you. Get that One minute to tell us what you've done with that money. You're telling you you got the wrong man. Yes, I suppose the minute you'll be telling us you're not the Frisco kid. Well, Chuck, I guess the boys have done their stuff for this time. Come on, we better get out of here. I'm gonna drop in a piece. I'll meet you at the foot of the trail. All right. Wait a minute. Where's my dough? What goes? Oh, my jug I don't know. This is all I've got, and that's mine. Yeah. What's that? You dirty rat! Listen, I'm going to tell you all I know about it. Well, we've listened to all we're not going to. What makes you think I'm the guilty man? But didn't we get a telegram from Frisco saying that you were a convict? That's enough for all we want to know. Come on, bring that horse in, boys. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Where are they? Oh, they're after him. They'll get him sure. Oh, you've got to do something. Save him. Now, Sissy, I'm afraid the boys are right. He killed Perkins as sure as shooting. We'll give you one more chance. Hey, 
He's innocent. He didn't know it. I know. Well, those Jasper boys done it. There's the evidence. So you sure got a break. You saved yourself 20 years. Maybe your life. I gotta hand that to you. Sorry, Frisco. I've ruined one of your best jimmies. That's all right. I won't be needing it anymore. You sure have the right idea, Frisco. I think I'll turn in my badge and take the adjoining 40 acres. Okay. There's plenty of room. You better say one thing for me, Frisco. When I work at a job, I throw myself in. Yeah? Why don't you try digging a well? <laughs> 